Skip, you ready to plant some uh, cover crops? Looks like you're planting some uh, raisinets there, buddy. Appreciate it. What's up everybody? It's Jason over here at Cog Kill Farm and the Cog Kill Farm family. And today, today we're talking and planting cover crops for the fall garden. You know, in the video the other day, we planted uh, winter squash, just the row seven Robin's Caganut or Caganut squash. I'm not quite for sure the pronunciation on that, but we did plant it in our big garden. Every bit of it's coming up that I planted. That's all I got planted in here. It's just one row of that. I know it's gonna spread, but for the rest of this thing, which is covered in this crazy, Right here, chamber bitter nuisance weed is another name for it, and I know why. So I'm gonna come through here with the um, with the wheelie plow, and I'll put the cultivator tool on it, and try to get a lot of this stuff turned up, turned over, and then we're gonna plant some cover crops in here. All right, got that done, and it's good enough. I mean, I'm not growing anything in here right now, except the squash. All this is just gonna be cover crop, and I'm just gonna throw it out. Nothing special, but let's go check out and see what we got. Oh yeah. So I was gonna plant a cover crop, because I usually do. Now last year, if you remember, we put black plastic down, and it worked pretty good. Oh, actually it worked really good, but I still had weeds come in. So I mean, this time I was gonna do what I normally do, and that's plant rye grass. That's what I do, a winter rye. But check this out. This month's homestead box is all about cover crops. You know, when these boxes show up, it literally is like being a little kid on Christmas. But check out what all is in here. Now we did get some fall garden seeds, which is cool. We got kale, we got broccoli, which I'm terrible at growing. We got uh, romaine lettuce, and we got collard greens. So this is this this is definitely gonna get planted maybe today. Here, here. Huge bags. Oh, I say huge. Huge to me. But we got crimson clover. We got tillage radishes. We got winter peas. And we got hairy vetch. Awesome cover crop. Now I have grown crimson clover before and it does so well too. Plus our bees are gonna love it. But that's not all that came in here today. Fish and guano fertilizer. Now I have used fish meal before in the past, but I've never used guano. And if you don't know what guano is, that's, bless you. That's bat poop. Got a dram spray nozzle. This one I'm super stoked about because in the first one I got, I got a trial by Homestead Ironworks. Now I got a shovel, homemade, well made. This is awesome. I use that trowel all the time. I'm gonna use this a whole lot more. Hey, and if you're interested in the Homestead Box service, it's a monthly subscription service. Go check it out. They got three different plans. Links down below. I'll put it in the description and in my comments. So let's plant some cover crops. Skip, you ready to plant some uh, cover crops? Looks like you're planting some uh, Raising nets there, buddy. Appreciate it. Jump around. Jump around. So Jason, what exactly is a cover crop? Well, a cover crop covers the ground, hence the name cover crop. But what a cover crop really, really helps you do is, is it, say for example, in the winter time, or fall, winter time, early spring, when stuff typically is not growing, it goes dormant. You plant a cover crop to cover your soil to prevent erosion. Also, certain cover crops put nutrients back in the soil. Then you got cover crops that have deep root systems that actually aerate the soil, basically like 
a tiller. Hence the name <laughs> tillage radishes. That's what they're going to do. They're going to grow long and they're just going to break that soil up down deep. And then that also makes a great cover crop. Then it's got the pretty greens on top, which you can come back, chop and drop that stuff. So you come through and you Jimmy chop all that cover crop down. It's going to lay on top of your ground. Then it's going to go through a composting stage and goes back into your soil. That's why cover crops are so awesome and so important. So if you're not doing cover crops, do it. There's so many different ones. Just do the research and see what does well in your area. A common, common one is, is really a, a ryegrass. But ryegrass, clovers are awesome, which are also easy to find. But do your research and see what grows well in your zone and what makes an awesome cover crop. You know, weeds technically are Mother Nature's cover crop. Mother Nature does not like bare ground. I'm not going to do anything special with these. I'm not going to put them in a cedar. My area is kind of small. I'm just going to hand throw it out. one I'm really uncertain about is this winter pea. It's a pretty large seed that I can't open. I'm not for sure if I ought to just throw this out or not. I think since it's such a big seed, I may go get my cedar and just spread it out with my um, earthway cedar. Planted, fixing to cut the sprinkler on and get this area damp and uh, hopefully get them bad boys kick started. It's so darn hot, I'm fixing, I'm fixing to run through this sprinkler. <laughs> if you don't grow cover crops, you ought to give it a try. And if you do grow cover crops, what are y'all doing? I would love to know what type of cover crop y'all are grow growing in your garden and on your farm or homestead and how does it work for you? Hey guys, thanks for watching the video today. If you want to see more of our garden videos, check out this playlist I put together right over here. If you're new to the channel, like what you see, hit the subscribe button right down below. And if you're interested in any Kyle Keel Farm gear like this Peaches shirt, hit the link right here. Y'all be good.